Okay, so I made a video a little while ago about how some of these channels are making up to $27,000 for the month. And that's with videos that are so simple, maybe even a baby could do it. Well, that is a baby that could make a YouTube video. So probably not, but it's some really easy videos. And also you might think the earnings are so high because of multiple revenue streams, like affiliate marketing, brand deals, ice cream giveaways. Well, maybe not that one which they probably do all of those things, but that $27,000 is only from YouTube ad revenue. And that is the only stream of income that I'm looking at here because it is the easiest to set up. I don't have to do anything. YouTube does all of the work. All I need to do is make videos. So to get straight into that, what I'll be doing is this, looking at how you can create similar content like this, only easier and for free. And I'll go through everything from getting a video idea, then getting all of this stuff that goes into the video and then finally uploading it to YouTube. But let's start looking at what type of content they make so you know what we're getting into. So the two channels that we looked at in that last video was Natural Cures and this channel here called Bestie. And what I'm seeing here is that their views grew quite a lot since that video I made. And according to Social Blade, it's clear that they did grow because this is $2,000 more they're earning. Now it says $29.5,000 on the top end. But what we're concerned about today is actually really the video. So let's quickly take a look at one of their videos. There's a voiceover introducing the video, some photos as well as some video clips, some text on the screen, and some transitions going from scene to scene. Now all of this text on the screen isn't totally necessary to start with, as well as these background effects. It sure does help, but it's not necessary to start with. Let's look at another video. This one about brain damaging foods. Similarly to the other video, there's an intro where there's some video playing, a little bit of transition, some effects, voiceover playing in the background, images on the screen, transitions and text on the screen. And from skimming through the video, it looks like it's like that throughout. And if you can easily do that, that's fine, but it, it will take a little bit more work and time, which is why I prefer to look at a video from Natural Cures. And the views are not that bad either. This is just from yesterday and has 7,600 views. Their videos almost have no effects or transitions. There's photos or videos on the screen while you're seeing the text showing up at the bottom here. And this text here is also not really necessary unless it's not your first language and you have to read everything that is on the screen. As long as you have a good voiceover like they do and Bestie has, then we can even skip that and have different scenes. So what I want to try is simply this having the video footage, some photos as well, my voiceover, as well as some music playing quietly in the background. So to replicate a similar video like this, I need to start with a video idea. And there are several places that you can find video ideas. For example, just going into the YouTube search bar. And since it's health tips, you search for health tips. Press the space bar or underscore. An idea show up right here. To get further suggestions, you can start typing a next letter like E or B or C and continue going through the alphabet. You can even backspace that, come in front here of the health, press the space bar in front of here and start typing the letters in front, like B, baby health tips, body health tips, try C, colon health tips, call health, call health tips. Now this is stuff that people are actually searching for, but there's another place that you can easily start to find proven videos and that is on a channel itself, like Natural Cures, for example. You can go onto the video section and sort by most popular. But instead of just trying to look at the video that has the most views, I also try to find a balance between something that has a lot of views as well as something that is fairly recent, not necessarily five years ago. So you can scroll and see if you can find a little bit more recent videos that still has a lot of views. And from what I'm seeing here, most of their videos are quite old. Most of their highly viewed videos are from some time ago. Now, if you have the vidIQ tool installed, you can hit the trending tab and see the videos that are getting the most views per hour. And these videos are not necessarily something that was posted like yesterday or the day before that. It can be from months or maybe years ago. So taking a look here, you can see this video has 328 views per hour and that's from a day ago. So let's not look at the videos from like a day or two or three ago, anything past that or even past a week ago. That is still getting decent views like this one here. Or maybe this one, even though it says five days ago, it still has really good views, almost 10,000 views from just five days ago. Foods to clean and heal your lungs naturally, 44 views per hour. 
So let's take a look at this video quickly, not the content in the video, but what ideas we can get here from the tags, what this video is really about, or at least what keywords I can do some further research on, because this title really is going to make you click it. It says eat these foods to clean and heal your lungs naturally, but it doesn't really say anything, which is why people would want to click it. In addition to this thumbnail, but since it's going to be for a fairly new channel, we need to be a little bit more specific than that. So let's search for some stuff like this. Maybe foods to clean lungs. Let's search for that. And what I like to use to do all of my keyword research is this TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer tool. Hit Keyword Explorer and start searching for food to clean. Oh, what do you know? The fourth suggestion here is lungs. So this is a keyword that people are actually searching for. Let's see what the search volume looks like. This one is a little bit specific, but this is a this can be a spin-off video. Food to clean your lungs after quitting smoking. Now the weighted tab is specific to my channel, which is the paid plan, but in the free plan of TubeBuddy, which you can download for free with the link I have in the description, is the unweighted tab, which you have access to this keyword tool for free. And it says here, this is an excellent keyword to target generally. It has good search volume. The competition is not that great. And it's overall excellent to target. So food to clean lungs is the keyword we'll be running with. So I'll hit copy, but most likely I might copy something else after. So hitting copy there is really just for you to remember. What you need next is now the video script. And what I usually do is use a tool called Jasper AI to do that. But you can also do that without creating a script in Jasper AI. And that's by just simply using Google. Search for foods to clean your lungs. And let's see what articles show up when I search for that. Search doom. What do we have here? 20 best foods for lung health. Natural ways to clean your lungs. Let's check that one out in one tab. And see here some videos are actually showing up in Google videos from YouTube. So if your video performs well, it can actually rank not only in YouTube, but on Google search engine as well. Now I like the title of this one here, foods that clean your lungs naturally. So let's check that one out and see if we can get at least three or five different foods that we can use to create that video script. There's a little introduction here, turmeric, green tea, peppermint tea, ginger, honey, garlic. Let's just take five of those. What I'll do next is open up a brand new Google Doc. Here's that title into here, and maybe we can call it Five Foods to Clean Lungs. We'll make it sound better a little bit later on. Back to the article over here, where we're gonna just grab a few of the foods that help you clean your lungs. Peppermint tea, green tea, turmeric. And I'll just add these to the Google Doc. There are two more useful ones, ginger and garlic. And what we need for this is a video introduction here. Then go into the details of each of these different foods and then a wrap up paragraph and outro. Now we want to do that without taking all of the information exactly as we find it here. You could take this information and rewrite it if you want. Or you can do something like take each one of these peppermint tea, for example, start searching for peppermint tea, long benefits, go into this and then simply open another article like this one and take some sentences from the different sections in this article. Of course, structure it in a way that makes sense for your video script. For example, we could take this first one here, copy that, paste that as the first sentence, go down to this next paragraph where it talks about how peppermint works for lung health. Take this first sentence as well, copy it, paste it here. Next, back over to the article, back to this last point here now where it deals with what kind of respiratory problems does peppermint cure. And you can take part of this sentence, perhaps from here, and a bit of the other sentence. Copy it, paste it into here, and all you want to do now is read this, make sure it makes sense. And what I would do is rewrite it in a way that is useful to, I must have to say, the listener, because this will be for a video script. So somebody won't be reading this, they'll be listening to it. Now, if you have the fear that these sentences are too close to the article over here, you can just take this entire paragraph that you just created, head over to a tool like Quillbot by going over to quillbot.com, paste that paragraph into here, and then hit paraphrase. And now for free, you just reworded that entire paragraph into a somewhat unique piece of content. By just looking at the first sentence alone, you can see instead of jumping straight into peppermint, very well known for its soothing and relieving effect, it goes over here saying the greatest something treatment for respiratory issues is peppermint. You can now take this, copy it. If you won't please, you can hit rephrase. We are pleased, so we'll hit copy, 
head back over to your script now and paste it over into this section. And what I would do is simply repeat the process and to fill out the information for all of these others, green tea, turmeric, ginger, and garlic, I would just repeat that process by searching over again in Google for ginger. And instead of just going straight to health benefits, I'll start typing lung. And right here, you can see ginger lung benefits. Go into another article, easily different sentences, maybe straight into this Quillbot tool here. And when I'm done getting all of the different sections from that article, I would hit rephrase, get the content here, copy it, and then paste it over here by that health benefit point. To get the intro and outro, you can just highlight foods to clean lung health. Just highlight that keyword, foods to clean lungs. Search for it in Google again. Come over to Google here now, but instead of just searching for foods to clean lungs, maybe search for the benefit of clean lungs. That's because you want to get somebody into thinking that they need to do this before you actually tell them what are the foods to clean their lungs. Now remember, this is just an example. You can take a paragraph like this. A lung cleanse may be helpful for individuals who have a health condition that causes breathing difficulties or some of the other people that may need this. You can copy that, paste it into your introduction and reword it yourself. Or again, you can just use this tool from Quillbot here, paste it into here and hit paraphrase. Take that, paste that as the introduction here and have a similar process for the conclusion. Oh, of course, you don't want to say something at the end of the introduction, like these are the five best foods to clean your lungs. Now we'll get back to this script. You're going to be using a voiceover, your voiceover, where you can just use your phone to record it while you read, or even better if you have a microphone, an external microphone. Now to get all of the content, I would first head over to a site called Pexels, where I would search for stuff that is related to this script where I can access any one of these photos or videos for free. Of course, what is applicable? Here are mainly the photos. You can hit this videos tab. Now you have access to videos related to lungs. The related search terms up here as well. Lung disease, health. There you go. And to preview, just mouse over the video clip, the thumbnail. All applicable things here. Now I'm just going to grab a few of these as an example. It may not be totally relevant to this video script, but at least you understand where I'm going with this. So I'll just hit that download button by a few of them to get some stuff, mixing it up between different keywords. For example, people who struggle to breathe. They might want to get somebody who is maybe coughing. You know what I mean? It, it, it make, might make sense to kick off the video with something like this. If I'm talking about people that struggle to breathe. Now this is going to be easier going into the different foods. All I have to do is search for this peppermint tea or green tea, turmeric, ginger, garlic. You can look at another line here, like which is known, renowned for its calming and relaxing effects. So you can get a clip with somebody relaxing. This lady looks relaxed. So we'll download her. Well, not download her, but the video clip. Now, seeing that we only created this much of the script, we'll just stop at that point. Not the video, but for, for in terms of getting the stock footage. Now, I did say we wanted to have some music playing in the background. And to get free royalty audio, I just use the YouTube audio library. That first link, it'll redirect you to your YouTube channel if you have one created. If you don't have one, then you probably should create a YouTube channel since this video is about making money on YouTube. Inside here, you can filter by mood or anything that you want, really. I'll choose inspirational, hit apply, sample some of these clips until I find something that makes sense. Well, let's say you did like that one. All you'd have to do is hit this download button, hit that. Now you should be saving all of this into one folder that would so so that, so that you can easily find all of the footage. I might not be giving the best example of how to be organized, but that is not the purpose of this video. And now just like that, we have all of the content that we need to make the video. Well, I just used my phone to record the voiceover by simply reading this script. If I felt like adding a word or a line here and there or not saying a sentence while I was reading it, I just did that. And I stopped at this point. So it's going to be for a short clip. Now you could use a tool like openshot.org where you can simply drag and drop the video clips, the stock footage, the audio into here. And it's, this is free to use. So just head over to that site, hit the download tab and get the version that you need. I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all of my YouTube videos. I'm accustomed to that and I already have it. So I'm just using that. But you can do all of the things on Adobe Premiere Pro for this video over on OpenShot. So feel free to get that instead. And the first thing that I'll be dragging onto the timeline 
There's a voiceover that I just created. Let me just write, let me just look at these thumbnails a little bit bigger so I can see what these clips are. And what I do next is drag and drop the different clips in order of the video script. And of course, I'll reposition them and stuff after. Simply shortening some of the clips, pulling up some of the others that are relevant, and then just listening to make sure that the audio is in line with the, the content. And once you have the voiceover and the video clips in line, grab that background music that we found, drop it onto the next track, and you'll want to carry down the, the levels by just right clicking it, dragging that to a much lower volume, way lower, because we don't want that to overpower the main voiceover. You can also do something else like add transitions, and it's easily done here just like it is over on OpenShot. I can right click in the middle of those different clips, apply default transition, and just repeat that throughout each of the clips. Now let's go up and have a quick look as to what this video looks like so far. Hit play. People who struggle to breathe due to a medical condition like asthma or UPD, like fibrosis, may benefit from a long well, that's just the first few seconds. I don't want to play the entire video. Now I'll go into that first tip. The first one is peppermint tea, where it's calming and relaxing. Right, so that's pretty much it. That is it. That's all you have to do for the video. And all of that was done completely for free. And that's the process really of recreating this type of content by finding the video ideas from these top viewed videos, doing some keyword research over on TubeBuddy, using a Google Doc to create that video script by finding content over on Google for each of the different benefits. In this case was foods to clean your lungs. I went into search for information for each of those points over on Google, where you can either rewrite it yourself or you can use a tool like Quillbot for free, where you can rewrite that paragraph intelligently. And most important, automatically. Get all of the content you need over on a site like Pexels, as well as the audio on YouTube. Edit up the video for free. And then of course, most importantly, post over to YouTube. That is the exact process that I'm doing on a faceless channel that I've created, where I'm hoping to do that consistently, repeating that process to eventually get views like a channel like Natural Cures here. And one day make this amount like they do making those simple videos. Now this method is simple and awesome. Now if you want to learn a way of creating these videos, the script and creating the videos automatically, which is a whole lot faster, then you're gonna to wanna to check out this video over on my channel. So I'll see you over there.